what to do when you can't afford it, or how to make $2,000 this month, all on today's episode. Today's episode is brought to you by FreshBooks. Accounting and bookkeeping mistakes destroy thousands of small businesses every single day. Bookkeeping doesn't have to be hard. Turn to the number one invoicing software for small businesses. Start for free today at servnomaster.com backslash FreshBooks. Are you tired of dealing with your boss? Do you feel underpaid and underappreciated? If you want to make it online, fire your boss and start living your retirement dreams now. Then you've come to the right place. Welcome to Serve No Master Podcast, where you'll learn how to open new revenue streams and make money while you sleep. Presented live from a tropical island in the South Pacific by best-selling author, Jonathan Green. Now, here's your host. Lately, I've spoken to quite a few of my followers, audience members, and people who've come into my business or heard about me and are interested in working with me, but they simply can't afford my programs. And when you're in that situation, I want to help you get to the point where you can afford all the things you want to buy, all the things you need to buy to build out your company infrastructure and grow the projects that you want to grow. We get into this situation where we see the benefits of a training course or a program or a piece of software, a piece of technology, or sometimes it's even something we just want. And we have this decision to make. I can't afford it right now, but I could put it on a credit card. And Putting something on a credit card kind of feels like, well, I got it and I didn't have to pay for it. It feels magical. When in reality, you could spend months or years paying off the investment. And instead of paying $2,000, you end up paying $2,500 or $3,000 out of your future. And in some cases, a credit card is a good tool. There are very, very few special cases. But mostly, we put on the credit card and we're thinking to ourselves, hey, as long as this program meets its promises. As long as I make back the money it says I'll make back, I can pay off the credit card before the bill comes due. But that very, 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 very rarely comes true. Most people, as much as we say, hey, I'm going to have this done in 30 days, it takes 45 days, it takes 60 days, life happens, we get behind schedule. It's very hard to make money super duper fast. Instead of going to the credit card, what I'd like to teach you about is a new system of buying things that for some reason, it's kind of lost its luster. I think a lot of advertising commercials have tried to convince us that it's for poor people, that it's for, you know, that it's lesser, but it's called layaway. And the idea of layaway is that you save up your money and buy when you can afford it. Now, the old layaway system was you'd go into the store and you make a payment every week and eventually when you made all your payments, you could then get what you purchased. And this is how a lot of people approach Christmas. They would decide the presents they wanted to buy, they'd go into Sears, they'd pay $3 a week, $10 a week, whatever, and at Christmas time, they could grab the gift they wanted for their kids. Nothing wrong with that. That's actually a very mature financial strategy because it involves no debt. But now we look down on that because credit card companies don't make any profit off layaway. There's no percentage when you do layaway. But I like that idea of I save up the money and then I spend it. High level coaching programs, coaching programs for me and other people cost anywhere from two, fifteen to $25,000. Some of the programs I know about are $25,000, $50,000 a year at the top level for really high level people. If you want to go from making a million to $10 million a year, those are the types of programs that you join, the higher level stuff. And when you are someone who just wants to jump to the top, you want to skip the lower levels. Nobody wants to start off making $10 a day, extra a day. Everyone wants to jump right to $1,000 a day or $10,000 a day. But there's a reason those programs are so expensive. And there's a reason they have a lot of requirements. Many of them have application forms. I don't take anyone on for coaching unless I speak to them on the phone for a very specific reason. I want to be sure that they can afford me both financially and time-wise. To succeed with a book business takes a lot of time. It's not easy. There's the time you spend writing the book. There's the time you spend researching the book. There's the time you spend designing covers. There's the time you design your website, your website, designing your social media, putting all these pieces together, launching the book, getting reviews, getting traffic. All these little pieces take time. Putting together all the pieces of any business takes time. And it requires infrastructure. The infrastructure to run my business is quite expensive for some people. My website hosting is $25 a month. I pay $50 a month for email hosting for two different companies. So right now I'm paying $100 a month for handling my different emails while I transition. SEO, you know, handling the search engine optimization of my website is $300 a month. These little things that we don't think about start to add up. All the people I have in place, all the pieces of technology, they all add up. My shopping cart's $100 a month, it's $50 a month. All these little things, they nickel and dime and suddenly... You're spending $500 a month or $1,000 a month on infrastructure, and you can't afford that when you're first starting out, which is why you want to find a program that lets you get 
to the first step. And instead of spending money on credit cards, instead of borrowing money from friends and basically gambling on a project, even if you work with me one-on-one coaching or any other program, there's an element of risk, there's an element of gambling because implementation is very important. There are certain people that hire me for coaching and we start working on a project and then they never finish it. If you don't implement or if you don't have enough time, you can run into that wall. And sometimes it takes people six months to launch a book instead of the month they thought. These different walls, these different limitations are very real and they can affect your income and they can cause you to rack up debt, rack up these interest rates. And I don't want that for you. So instead, what I want you to learn is a system I call climbing the pyramid. If you watch, if you not watch, but if you listen to a podcast episode, a couple of episodes back where I talk about the structure of a business, the structure of a business is a pyramid. You know that at the very bottom, you have your lowest ticket products, which is where you sell stuff for free or $7 or $9 or $17. Really anything under $20 is the bottom of your pyramid, the lowest level. At this level, you want to sell things that are really valuable. And in this case, in my pyramid, if someone goes to the lowest level of the pyramid, they should make enough money and profit to go up to the next level. That's really the goal. As much as you want to sell stuff climbing up the pyramid, your material should actually work. And if you're in the niche I'm in, if you're in the industry where teaching people how to build a business, well, then the lowest level should help them. The lowest level of your pyramid should actually work and give people enough wealth to be able to afford to go to the next level of your pyramid. If you're in the fitness space, then your lowest level product should help people get healthy enough to go to the next level. What we want to build is a business that actually works. We want to help people to climb up our pyramid rather than just selling hopes and dreams. Rather than just hopes and dreams and promises in your sales letter, you want to sell things. You want to sell training, resources, and techniques that will actually help people to build a real business. Now, the main reason people who follow me don't make any money, the people who never make any money, is they don't do anything. They never implement. They never put in any effort. It's 99% of our population is excuse makers, and there's a possibility that you're one of those people right now. If you were to go to my website right now and read every blog post, listen to every podcast, you'd have the tools to make $100 this week easily. You're doing $100 this week in five hours just doing freelance writing. I teach about freelance writing for a reason. It's one of the fastest ways to make money. It's the fastest way to get started. It doesn't require any investment or technical knowledge. And I have an entire blog post showing you each different place where you can get work quickly and be making money by tomorrow. But most people won't do it. Unfortunately, the majority of people listening to this podcast who follow my website will never take action. And that's why I teach this method. I would rather you discover that you're someone who won't take action before you spend money with me. There's nothing worse than spending $2,000 and realizing that you're all talk, that you don't actually want to do it, that you don't want to put in the hard work, that you don't want to stop watching television, that you don't want to change your lifestyle, that you don't want to become a worker. Some of the people that I speak to, you know, haven't worked in five years, 10 years, 20 years. They have all these reasons, a barrage of reasons why they can't work. And I understand that when you're hurt or when you have a bunch of kids and there's different situations that come into place and you have to be in the house all the time, well then yeah, you can't go to the office. But now what I've developed for you and I have for you is a program where you can sit in your computer next to your kids while they're watching TV and you can start making real money and supporting your family. For me, anyone who's willing to work hard, I want to help. But there are just too many people who don't. There's so many people who want to use up huge gaps of my time and want to get everything handed to them, but they're not willing to put in any effort or put in any time. And I know that you're not supposed to say to your audience how disappointed you are when they don't put in effort, but that's just how I feel. The people who don't put any effort or who want me to coach them for free, I don't have any respect for that. I'm never going to do that because I know they'll never succeed. You can, using my free materials, make enough money to hire me as a coach easily in less than six weeks. Get into the freelance marketing game and work your way up my pyramid. And if it's not me, find someone else, work your way up their pyramid. There are tons of people who teach online money making and they start with a really low ticket product and you can work that product, use it to make real money and then buy the next product up the ladder. I do not want you to jump right to the top. So if you think you want to hire me for coaching, you want to hire someone else for coaching, make a plan to raise that money. Say, I'm going to make this money. I want to make $2,000. I want to make $1,000 in the next month. As a freelance writer, you can easily make $50 an hour. Most people in America, most people in the West would be so happy to make $50 an hour. They'd be happy to make $50 a day for a lot of people. It's real money. But you do have to sit down and actually work. It's not just push a button. It's not magical. And I take jobs like this too. I do ghostwriting projects. I take a lot of copywriting jobs. Part of it is because I want to learn and get better at copywriting. And part of it is, of course, I like to get paid to do different things. And I always diversify the projects I work on. But when you're unwilling to 
do anything. And I see this as well. It's not just all the people I, some of the younger people I talk to and their parents are still supporting them. As long as your parents are supporting you, there's no motivation to do the hard stuff they don't really want to do. I know people that they only want to do books in categories that they feel good about or that they personally love, even if no one's buying books in those categories. They don't want to work on any projects that are hard. They don't want to do anything outside of their own desired spectrum. They would rather not work than do something that's a little bit hard. And that's simply not my mindset. My mindset is I work really, really hard to support my family. I record five podcast episodes a week. This is just the beginning of my day. This is just the very beginning of what I do every day. For me, recording the podcast is before I even start my day. I wake up at four or five in the morning to record these. I'd love to sleep another 20 minutes, but it's part of my work. And the more you treat this like a business and the more you approach it with the right mindset of climbing the pyramid, the faster you can succeed. I'm a big believer in spending from profits you don't need to borrow money, use credit cards, or any of those things to learn how to make money online. What you need to do is start at the bottom. Read my blog posts, listen to my lessons about learning how to become a copywriter, learning how to become an artist, learning how to become a product creator, or a book writer, any of those different paths. Find the right path for you and start taking action. The sooner you take action, the sooner you can afford the next level up the mountain, the next level up the pyramid. I'm very dedicated to helping the people that work hard. Anybody who comes to me and went through one of my programs, made a bit of money, buys the next program up. I love that because I know they're an action taker and an implementer and I want to help them. And they're going to get a lot more of my time because they've demonstrated something really special, that they're a trigger puller. Demonstrating the ability to take action is very special. Most people who buy any product online never finish it. One of my friends, he took a $3,000 course on how to become an affiliate marketer. And thousands of people bought the course. It was a very, very big, very popular program at the time. It was a big launch. The guy who ran the program made millions and millions of dollars. My friend is the only person that finished the program. No one else finished the program. And now he's really good friends and actually does business with the guy who launched that program. They work together on a lot of stuff. No one else finished it. People pay thousands of dollars for projects they don't finish. I'm just as guilty. Sometimes I buy products and I don't finish them or I finish them way, way later. There are a lot of things that I always want to be working on. I want to learn more about a specific type of ad marketing. I'm trying to add into my business plan. I also want to do more guest blogging. I want to do more guest podcasting. All these things I want to do and these courses I have and these trainings I have, but there's only so much time in the day. My schedule is very full, but I'm just as guilty of getting excited about something and not finishing as quickly as I want. And that's why it's important to spend from profits rather than debt so that it's okay if it takes you a little longer to learn the program, make money back from it because you're not being punished financially for how long it takes you to learn it. What I want you to do is think about what you really want and develop a plan to get there. How much money do you want to make per month and how hard are you willing to work? Are you willing to give up watching TV every night? Are you willing to give up going to the bar? Are you willing to give up those fun times in order to secure a future where your family, your kids, your parents, everyone around you is taken care of, they're supported and they're safe? So again, the simplest plan and the very simple action step is to take a simple project that pays up front. The reason my lower level courses, the reason my first things I teach you about are freelance writing, starting a small SEO consulting company, getting into copywriting, these are projects where you get paid at the beginning. Most courses jump you into stuff where you get paid at the end of the project, where you get paid at the end of the work. But I know for a lot of my followers, you need to make that first bit of money first. So you have a little bit of budget to invest in the next level. As you grow, I'm going to teach you more and more about affiliate marketing, but it starts with having enough money to afford it. I was recently looking at a competitor's product and they teach how to launch a podcast and they brag about how their podcast became number one in their category very quickly, but they already had a list of a million followers. It rings so hollow and this is something so many big projects do. So many large companies and large marketers, people that are bigger than me, they teach you how to do something, but they assume you already have a massive amount of success. They assume you already have a big following, a massive social media following, a list of thousands or tens of thousands, or in their case, almost a million fans and followers. Of course, you can succeed anything you do if a million people love you. I could easily teach how to launch a book on Amazon and all it would be about is how, oh, you did, and then you just email your list of 10,000 people and boom, you win. But people don't have that. So I teach, where I teach from is the assumption that you can't afford any of my programs and you don't have any following. I want to teach people how to get there from zero. And what's great is if you do have a little bit of money and you already have a little bit of a following, then everything's easier. But I start at ground zero and my pyramid starts at zero. My pyramid has free programs. You don't have to spend anything with me to make $1,000 this month. I give away 
all of the basic ideas to get you started. And really, yes, I have a $100 program that teaches you more advanced techniques for freelance marketing, and that's really about accelerating your profits. But I want you to make that first $100 and then buy that course. Once you get a taste of the win and you see, oh, I am someone who can do this, then you can move to the next step and the next step and the next step. That's really the strategy, and that should be your strategy for what you sell and for how you work your way up anyone's course platform. Don't get caught up in the idea of, I can't afford this. If you can't afford it right now, go, okay, I'm going to sit down and make a plan. I want to be able to afford this program in six weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks, wherever you're at, however much free time you have. Say, I'm going to dedicate two hours a day to doing this type of work, to raise the capital, to go to the next level. And when you have that mindset, it will change some things within you that make you very strong and make you very capable. I never worry about money anymore because I know that if I have to, I'll do whatever it takes to make enough money to support my family. I know that I'm capable of it and I know I can find the work and I know that I'll do the work. Most of us, we don't know that yet. We don't know that we have that within us and we have this fear. This is how you overcome that fear. This is how you develop confidence within yourself is by taking action, implementing it, actually getting a taste of victory, getting a taste of the rewards. That's where the real excitement lies, the treasure lies. If you take action, if you follow my pyramid and work your way up, you can become very, very, very financially successful and you never have to invest a single penny with me because you use what I taught you to make your first money and you only spend from profits. It's an old saying that very rich people have who have great amount of money or trust funds. You never touch the principal. If you have a million dollars in the bank and every year it pays you $10,000 in interest, you only spend out of that 10,000. You never touch the million. That's how the rich stay rich. It's the people that touch the principal that eventually run out of money. Spend from profits. You do not have to ever use a credit card to buy from me. And if you don't have enough money and want to buy one of my programs, I'm always willing to develop a strategy with you to help you figure out how you can make enough money to get there piece by piece by piece. I don't believe in squeezing people. I don't want anyone to spend money they don't have with me. With me or on any other programs, I don't believe in that. I don't want to put other people into debt to buy my children another surfboard or to pay my rent or buy my dog dinner, any of those things that I spend money on, right? The necessities, surfboards, kids, and food for the dog. Those are the most important things. But you know, when you spend money with me, I want it to be from money I helped you earn. Then it's more valuable to both of us. So wherever you are in the pyramid, wherever you are working your way up and building your business, make sure that you don't ever spend the principal and just focus on building back profits quickly. Always Whenever you buy a product, whenever you go through a course, your goal is to make back the money you spent as quickly as possible. That mindset will change how you approach online business. And if you follow this pattern, you could easily make $2,000 this month. All you have to do is take all the freelance writing gigs you can get. All you have to do is go through my blog post where I teach you which programs pay this much, which programs they pay that much. Work your way up. You start at the lowest one, get paid. Build up a reputation, jump to the next one. You can keep raising your rates as you go from program to program. They'll find you the clients when you're getting started. And once you do that, you can be someone making an extra $2,000 a month, working a couple hours a night. And then you can go to the next level and say, okay, I've got this down. I want to go to the next level. I want to double what I'm making. I want to triple what I'm making. And that's where my courses will really help you accelerate. So please put in the effort. Stop watching so much TV. Stop limiting yourself and saying, oh, I can't afford it or I can't do it. You can afford anything you want if you follow what I'm sharing with you. I'm giving you the tools so you never have to say to yourself, oh, I can't afford it ever again. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of Serve No Master. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss another episode. We'll be back tomorrow with more tips and tactics on how to escape that rat race. Head over to servenomaster.com forward slash podcasts now for your chance to win a free copy of Jonathan's bestseller, Serve No Master. All you have to do is leave a five-star review of this podcast. See you tomorrow. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Serve No Master podcast. Follow me at facebook.com backslash serve no master.